Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content. Now, as part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 program, STC is transforming its network and bringing new services to meet the evolving needs of the kingdom. To discuss this in more detail and to explain best practices for developing a telco cloud strategy, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined today by Anwar al Subihi. General Manager, Cloud Infrastructure at STC, and A.M. Al-Zaim, Director of Sales, Telco and Service Providers, Meta and CEE at Red Hat. Well, it's good to see you both. Thanks so much for taking part in our program today. Anwar, let me first of all start with you. Could you tell us more about STC's strategy and how STC's network transformation is a strategic enabler of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030? Hi, Guy. STC acts a digital transformation engine. It helps Saudi Arabia to enable their vision for 2030. We have implemented our state-of-the-art data centers and best-of-class cloud infrastructure on top of that we have hard, uh, with on top of that we have uh, applications and and network functions this will enable us and unlock a long tail of digital services and products telecommunication services and non telecommunication services for example that we have deployed uh, digital payments we have digital tv e games and many services that not telecommunication services, as well as we have the our bread and butter telecommunication services and emerging technology services, such as 5G slicing, private edge computing, private network, and um, cybersecurity services, Internet of Things services, SD1, and many others. All these services that will enable our, our customers when it comes to the enterprise customers or government customers that will help them to be able to achieve the goals and the ambitions that we have in Saudi Arabia to meet the vision 2030. And Anwar, you mentioned some key services there, but can you tell me more about how STC is planning to bring these new services to meet the evolving and changing needs of Saudi Arabia? Can you elaborate on what some of these services are? When we build our strategy, we are really keen to have an implementable strategy that touches not only the technology, also the organization and people aspects. For example, from the technology, we have bring the best of breed technology providers, as well as they are working together with us on, on the organization and building up a robust operating model that evolving towards the digital, trans or, uh, digital transformation. For example, that we are moving out as a processes from waterfall to agile and from agile to DevSecOps. And also the main pillars as well here that is the people themselves that we are having building a complete program towards the digital mindset or digital shift on the mindset of the team and members that who are working in STC to achieve the strategic goal of, of STC transformation. This truly will make the, the, the incense on and, and the achievements to have a comprehensive solutions because we are not only providing solutions and products to our customers, we are bringing experience to our customers to achieve their also their goals either the Saudi government goals as Vision 2030 or the individuals to enrich people's lives. So we have started a comprehensive program uh, from the technology, from the organization, and from, from the organization even we are touching the business processes. Either we do re-engineering of the business processes or we developing our current business processes and also developing the people to have a major shift on the changes that we are having right now inside Saudi Arabia, as well as inside the company of STC. Thank you, Anwar, that's very interesting. And Ahem, what are you seeing from a Red Hat perspective with regards to 
use cases and workloads for AI, Edge, Cloud RAN, private 5G, etc. And also, how exactly are you partnering with STC to tackle this new era of revenue generation? If, if you really look at the, 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 the points that you've just raised, you know, Edge, private 5G, etc., there's a very common denominator there. And what the common denominator is, is, is how close can we bring resources to our customers? And this is quite important. Given the, 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 the changing requirements from our customer base, given the, the emerging requirements, um, a, a lot of the requirements that, that our customers will have over the next 24 to 36 months are things that haven't actually been planned for yet. Um, you need to have an environment that, that provides you with the right connectivity, with the right security, and ensuring that that uh, the technology enables IDs to life. So we really work with, with uh, STC uh, quite closely to ensure that we understand what our customers are requiring, um, ensuring that we have the right ecosystem that provides um, a, a, a consortium of solutions that have been tested, uh, certified, and validated, validated to ensure that we can get these products or get these solutions um, to market in a fast, effective, and an efficient manner. Um, STC has been building uh, fast, reliable networks for its customer base for 25, 30 years, and then being able to, to, to provide the next generation of these networks to meet these specific use cases, especially around the private 5G and leveraging the capabilities of AI uh, for, inter for, for new and emerging enterprise customers is, is, is at the heart of what we do um, with STC. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for that, Ahem. Now, turn it back to you, Anwar. Why did STC choose to develop this platform on Red Hat OpenShift? Why was open source such an attractive choice? There are several factors that why we are selecting um, Red Hat and their solutions. Besides, they are a world-class uh, solutions providers when it comes to the cloud services and cloud environment solutions. They believe on STC missions and they're ambitious as well. And this is really important to have uh, this factor in our decisions when we are selecting Red Hat. Red Hat, they are providing an open source platform, open shift, moving us from physical network functions to the, to the open shift containerization based solutions. These factors that are really important for us we are, when we are selecting Red Hat, as I have mentioned before, that, that the digital transformation is not only on the technology, it also touches other factors and other aspects. And where Red Hat is doing this with us, they are also believes on what we are moving forward to. And we are not only looking forward with only moving and digitize our services and our products. Also, we are touching the other pillars, such as the organizations and people. Both parties that Red Hat has adapting this with us. They are providing a very good training programs to our team and revisiting our operating model as well and giving us some enhancement on the operating model. So the selection of Red Hat, it wasn't only based on the technology solutions, it was an ecosystem together to achieve our ambitions and our, our uh, goal. Not only that, we are partnering with, with Red Hat based on the business values. What are our business values? What are our goals? What are the needs of our customers, either the enterprises customers or the government or, or the individuals? Based on these goals and, and values that needed to be realized, that's what we have agreed and partnering with, uh, with Red Hat. We are together in nowadays in one boat. We are battling together to achieve one target, one aim, one objective. Yeah, it's really good to hear. Thank you, Anwar. And turning back to you, AM, can you tell us more about how Red Hat partners with telcos, not just SDC, um, to help develop a cloud strategy for those who are moving now in this direction? 
Red Hat is a, a technology enabler. So we work with STC um, and other customers to really bring ideas um, and, and solutions to market. Red Hat's um, years of experience in building robust and secure platforms that, that, that can be deployed anywhere, whether on the public cloud or in on-premise, gives customers the freedom and the choice to ensure that the solutions that they provide to their customers, whether internal or external, actually meet the requirement. And not only meet the requirement uh, from a technology perspective, but meet the requirement from a, from a time to market and from a security perspective. In order for STC and other customers to, to, to meet the requirements of their customer or their, their complex requirements of their customers, we need to ensure that we have the right solutions. And not only that we have the right solutions, but we have the flexibility to be able to adapt to these changing requirements as they change. Um, it, it's, it's, it's not enough anymore to say your requirements are, are the same six months ago as they are today. And, and, and this is a result of, 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 the, of the internationalization of, of our industry, of, of, of industry, of corporates, of enterprises, in how they, in how they go to market. So, uh, you know, bringing networks, bringing telecommunication services, bring, being able to provide the technology um, and the connectivity, um, as, well as, the, as well as the operational model to support, um, to support uh, the customer requirements is, 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 is what we do and how we do it with STC. Um, obviously, none of this can be done without the, the work that we do with our ecosystem and the work that the ecosystem does with operators like STC as well. The, 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 the alignment there in understanding what our customers' requirement is, is crucial. Uh, and this is the first step to being able to, to, to draft out a, um, solutions based on technology, based on processes, based on um, governance models that allows us to bring the right solution to market in a fast, efficient manner, as well in a secure manner. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, AM. And you made some interesting points there around a strategy with freedom of choice, really. How is Red Hat working with the different players in the ecosystem to support the future strategies of telcos? Great question, Guy. Red Hat's extensive ecosystem of partners extends to partners in the application layer, our partners in the hardware layer, and partners at the public cloud layer. So what we what we do is we work quite extensively with our partners to certify, validate, and test our technologies together to ensure that when we do provide a solution to STC uh, and others is that our products work and they work well. Um, and that are not only um, from a technology perspective, but from a time to market perspective. In addition, security plays a very important part. You cannot have a, a, a consortium of, of tech different vendors or different partners bringing solutions together that are not tested for security. And, and no operator in the world, especially STC, would bring solutions that haven't been tested from a security perspective. So freedom of choice uh, is all about ensuring that you, you do choose the right solution, the right stack for your customer, but you do want to, you do want to make a decision on a solution of, of technologies that, are, that, that work, that work well together and have been tested, um, that have been tested uh, before they are shipped to market to ensure that they, it does provide the robustness, it does provide the agility, and it does provide the, uh, the, the, the support that's needed uh, for, for competitive edge. Well, we must leave it there. I am and Anwar, thank you both very much indeed for taking part in our discussion today. Thank you, Guy. Thank you, Anwar. Thank you.